Collecting field blanks appropriately protects you from unknown contamination of your media during your sample collection, storage, and transport processes. Contamination could cause your sample results to be reported higher than they should be. Obviously, it is not your intent to introduce any contamination to your sampling media. If you knew contamination was present, you would eliminate it. The field blank is to identify inadvertent contamination during handling, storage, and transport. So, it is important that the field blank media always accompanies the sample media except for during actual sampling. At minimum, you should collect the number of field blanks required by the written sampling and analytical method. To generate defensible data, it is important to collect a field blank for each analyte and each sampling event. So, let's say you order 30 sorbent tubes to sample for toluene over a one-week period. You collect six eight-hour samples on each of five days, Monday through Friday. That is five sampling events. You should provide a field blank for each day you sampled or each event. If instead you took three four-hour toluene samples each day, you would need two field blanks for each day. That would be a total of ten field blanks to send in with your samples. A field blank is handled in the same way as your samples. Open, seal, store, transport except during the actual sample period. Do not draw any air through the field blank media. As you are preparing your sample media to begin monitoring, handle the field blank at the same time and in exactly the same way. First, make sure you mark the media as a field blank. You can do this right on the media label or mark the media with your standard label number and identify it on the chain of custody form as a field blank. Open the field blank media just as you would the sample media. If it is a cassette, remove the plugs or nibs or open the cassette just like the sample media. If it is a sorbent tube, score it and break it open on each end. Use the same tool you use for the sample media. If it is a badge, open the container and remove it. If there is any contamination in the air, on the tool, or on your hands, it should equally affect both pieces of media. Field blank media should always be sealed in the field just after you place the media on the worker or in the area to be monitored. Store the field blank and sample media together during the entire storage period and always ship the media in the same container. Again, it is important that both types of media have experienced identical environments up to the point of reaching the laboratory. By carefully following these procedures, if contamination to the field blank media has occurred, you are more likely to be able to deduct the contamination amount from the sample media. Questions? Contact Galson Laboratories by phone, email, or IH live chat. You may also access our extensive library of other helpful videos at galsonlabs.com. Thank you.